Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and this video is about how to install a full Ubuntu desktop in Ubuntu Server 14.04 long-term support. There are reasons for and against adding a desktop. Basically two reasons against adding a desktop is that it makes the server less secure and because now the server has a graphical user interface it will probably run slower. Reasons for adding a desktop are that it may make it easier to learn about the server in the learning environment or you may want to use some graphical user interface tools to accomplish difficult tasks such as managing virtual guests. Outcomes of this video. This video demonstrates an install of an Ubuntu desktop in a VirtualBox virtual server. If your server is not running inside VirtualBox simply ignore the sections dealing with VirtualBox and you'll still be able to install a full Ubuntu desktop in your Ubuntu 14.04 server. So the first step would be to configure a server to be a desktop inside of VirtualBox. Basically what this means is adding some additional RAM, random access memory, and reconfiguring some video settings. Then before the desktop is installed you should update and upgrade your Ubuntu server. Finally you install the full Ubuntu desktop. Then if you're on VirtualBox, you install a dynamic kernel module support. This assists VirtualBox in upgrading when the kernel is upgrading. Then after you've installed the desktop, you should update and upgrade your Ubuntu desktop. And then if you're running inside VirtualBox, install the VirtualBox guest editions. And finally, I've got some configuration settings to modify the desktop for increased privacy. And then I've got one or to uh, appearance settings to change just to demonstrate how to go about making some changes. Requirements would be an Ubuntu Server 14.04 with administrative privileges and internet connections optional. The Ubuntu server installed as a virtual guest inside VirtualBox. You have to make sure whether you have a hardware or virtual machine that you have enough additional random access memory to convert the server to a desktop computer. A graphical user interface requires additional memory and you have to make sure you have about two gigabytes of memory for a Ubuntu 64-bit desktop. And then you have to make sure you've got your video configured or a graphics card capable of running the Ubuntu desktop. Then you've got additional info. There's Ubuntu.com and I've got how to use a GUI on an Ubuntu 12.04 server. Although it's for a previous version it's got a lot of good information on it. And then you've got additional information on whether you should use task cell or app get install. Disclaimer, basically while I've researched this material, I can't fully verify that work with all combinations of hardware and software out there. So I've included a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read that disclaimer. If you're running Ubuntu server as a virtual machine, before you install the desktop, you're going to have to do some reconfigurations. In my case, I'm running it inside VirtualBox. What I'm going to have to do is add some memory. Okay, here I have Server Ubuntu TT01, and I'm only running it with 512 megabytes of memory, which is enough for just a basic server. I'm going to click at System, and if I'm going to install a full Ubuntu desktop on a 64-bit server, I'm going to have to probably go up to about 2048 or 2 gigabytes of RAM or random access memory. And if I want to, I can also add another CPU, but I'm just going to leave it basically as it is. Also, if you're only running a 32-bit server, you should make sure that you're enabled PAE NX. It should already be in enabled prior to installing the graphics. So once I've got the additional RAM added, I simply click OK. And display, I need to enable 3D acceleration. And I'm going to add 128 megabytes of memory. I'm just going to increase my video RAM. Simply click OK here. One other thing that you may want to do, you go to storage and you want to make sure that this is empty host drive D you don't have a additional 
ISO file there. And the reason for this is when you install VirtualBox guest editions, having an empty host drive D makes it easier to install guest editions rather than trying to get the drive empty. Click OK. And that's pretty much it for uh, reconfiguring Ubuntu Server. Once you've added any additional RAM that you need the to and configured any video settings you need to get your Ubuntu server running as a desktop, whether in VirtualBox or as a hardware machine, go ahead and start the server. Make sure you're logged in. Before I install a full desktop, what I'm going to have to do is do an update the update gets all the files pulls down all the files that the server needs to do an upgrade once all the package lists have been read you can go ahead and do an upgrade. And this is going to take a little bit of time. In my case it says 164 kilobyte of additional disk space will be used. That will vary according to when's the last time you updated and upgraded your server. And it'll take a while and I'll come back when this is uh, fully upgraded. Here finally the server has been upgraded. So the next thing let's install the desktop. That would be sudo apt get install ubuntu desktop and it says 2050 megabytes of additional spa disk space will be used. So that's two gigabytes of additional disk space. And I'm going to key in Y. And of course, I'll come back when this is fully completed. Finally, after about half an hour, the desktop is installed. Now, because I'm running in VirtualBox, inside VirtualBox, I'm going to install Dynamic Kernel Module Support Package to ensure that the VirtualBox host kernel modules, VBox DRV, VBox Net FLT, and VBox Net ADP are updated if the Linux kernel version changes during the next during the next upgrade. If you're not running VirtualBox, you won't have to do this. So to install the DKMS module, it's simple. sudo apt get install dkms password and then you add a yes and then again it's going to take a few minutes and I'll come back when it's fully installed there we go and so now I'm ready for a reboot sudo reboot and when the server comes back up it will have a desktop here I have the desktop and because I'm running inside VirtualBox it's in a real small screen until I add VirtualBox guest editions. So I'm going to log in and since I've added all these desktop files I'm also going to have to update and upgrade the desktop. So to update and upgrade the desktop I'll go to the dash and put in software Data and click right here inside the software updater. Now if you notice there's some additional search items that came down from the net and once I get VirtualBox Gist editions installed I'll show you how to prove your privacy a little bit. So now it says that uh, 
updated software is issued and 61.2 megabytes will be downloaded. And so I'm going to click install now and come back when it's fully installed. Of course you're going to have to enter your password to install the updates for the desktop. Now here the software updater is finished running. So now ask that you restart the computer so let's restart it now. And I'm going to click restart. Here's the fully updated desktop. Add the username, I'm sorry, add the password. Once you've logged in, if you're running VirtualBox and you need to add guest additions, you would go up here all the way to the left to the VirtualBox menu and select devices and then insert guest additions. And up comes the VBox editions. And because the screen right now is so small, I'm just going to move it over a little bit and then click on the run box. And again, you're going to be asked for a user password. And then click on the authenticate. And this will take a minute or two. Finally you get to a window, or finally you get to a line at the end that says press return to close this window. Hit enter. And then we're going to restart. Click on the shutdown. And then restart. And when the Ubuntu server with the full desktop comes up, it should default to a larger screen. Here it is, it's defaulted to a larger screen. Enter your password. Now one thing I would like to point out, if it doesn't default to a larger screen, you could always go over here to view and it says auto resize guest display. In the past I found that you've had to select this twice on some computers in order for Ubuntu to default to the entire screen. Here I have a full Ubuntu desktop running on top of Ubuntu server. Before I end this video I want to show you how to make one or two settings. We'll move system settings over here. One thing in security and privacy. When you do a search it goes to the web. It says include online search results and that's by default. I like to turn that off so I don't send people a lot of information. I'd like to do some settings right here. Now if I like to make my icon size a little bit smaller you'll notice all the way on the left you'll see that the icons are actually decreasing in size. We'll take it down to about 32. And one other thing I like to do in behavior is I like to have the menus for a window show in the Windows title bar. And that's pretty much it for the settings. You can play around with it and do your own. And that's it for installing a full desktop into an Ubuntu server. Now remember this is not as secure as running a a server without a graphical user interface and of course it's going to run a little bit slower. But with a full desktop you can use some graphical tools to help you learn about the server if that's what your actual goal is. Thank you.